Hey y'all, welcome to my shop. Um, I just ordered a new toy and I thought I'd have the opening here and kind of walk you through it. I got a collet chuck system from Craft Supply. There's several different uh, folks that sell collet systems for wood turning. Um, Woodcraft sells one, but it uses a Morse taper. Um, Penn State sells one, but it doesn't fit one and a quarter inch. Uh, Beal has one that fits one and a quarter and one inch. A couple other things I got here. Yeah. Some pen sleeves and some rubber bungs for a salt and pepper shaker. I was going to make. all there is. Alright, so, reminds me of a joke, or a funny, funny story. I was uh, at a men's group meeting at, at church, and one of the fellows there, he had a box of books, and he got ready to open the, book, uh, the box, and he didn't have a pocket knife. He says, well, what I really need is a pocket knife. And three guys whipped out a pocket knife. He's from New York. And he says, why is it that all you southern boys, it goes for us guys even over 60 if you're a southern boy, how come all you southern, southern boys always carry a pocket knife? And then someone commented, well, Bill, now that you live down here and you're retired and not catching an airplane, I don't understand why you're not, you're not uh, carrying one. So here's what it looks like. Basically, it's a chuck mounting system that ooh, I'm going to have to get some cleaner to clean the grease off of this thing. And then these are ER32 collets, which is a, an industry standard. And they come in, uh, doesn't look like it comes with any instructions. Got a couple of, uh, couple of wrenches to tighten it up, although uh, I read one review that talked about with this knurled uh, nut, that actually in many instances you can uh, tighten it tight enough by hand but then the wrenches are there if you need them. That was one of the advantages uh, somebody had cited for the Beal Collet system is it's nice and smooth without any knurling so you have to use a wrench to tighten up and that was one of the reasons that uh, this was cited being favored by some but it's also a less expensive solution. So. And it comes with an extra adapter so you can adapt this from a one and a quarter to a one inch. So I could use this on my mini lathe, uh, one inch, as well as the one and a quarter on my Powermatic. So that's kind of a, 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 nice, uh, a nice feature. So I'm going to assemble it and, and then we'll put it on my lathe and I'll show you how we can use it. Okay, now that we've opened up the, uh, the kit and looked at it, a few other things I wanted to mention. Um, there's actually five sizes of collets that come with it. It comes from a quarter inch, three-eighths of an inch, half an inch, five-eighths of an inch, and uh, three-quarters of an inch. So it comes in one-eighth increments. Uh, now the bad news is, or one of the disadvantages of a collet chuck is there's only about one thirty seconds inch of, of play. So you've got to have your dial sized fairly closely. Good news is they're not very expensive if you want to buy these individually in the aftermarket on eBay or whatever. Uh, and you get them in uh, metric or US. Metric you get them in one millimeter up and uh, there's somewhere maybe eight dollars a, a piece for each size. Um, the advantage of, of a collet chuck um, is that they really hold things very, very securely that, that's a dowel. Let me just give you a few, a few examples. Uh, that's If you're doing bottle stoppers, this works very well. 3 8 inch uh, dowel uh, mounts in a, in a cork. This, this does well. Let's say you're turning small shaker type, type pegs. These do, do very well. Uh, this one, you can see, the, I believe you can see the uh, deforming you get when you use a 
Jacob's chuck, uh, the three jaw chuck, it'll actually uh, crush the tenon a little bit. When you use a collet chuck, it has a very, very secure grip because you get just about a hundred percent grip on that on that tenon, so it's very, very tight. It actually, I find it, it is, it's a much more secure grip than the chuck I've been using for small uh, items, my 25 millimeter uh, bowl jaws, which aren't quite, they have about the same range of motion um, and clamping size as the Nova pin jaws, but they're not quite as long, so it doesn't have quite the holding power of the pin jaws. So the collet chuck uh, holds, holds better than this very securely when you're getting a little longer piece out here and leveraging it a little bit. Some of the other kinds of things uh, you might use, let's say you're turning finials, uh, you put a, a three-quarter inch tenon on it and it'll hold very, very securely for a finial. Another thing, uh, this is a, a Morse taper collet that I bought for my cutter on my uh, threading jig. The disadvantage of this type of, of collet is it requires a draw bar coming in from the back uh, to tighten up to pull it in to secure it. So it's a little more trouble to, to fix and, and unfix. And I believe I'll be using my collet chuck with that 3 8 inch to hold that. So let's go ahead and, and mount one and let me show you actually how it works. Uh, I find this, uh, this particular apprentice chuck to be uh, uh, nicely made. The knurling is very nice, easy on your uh, hands to, to tighten. Uh, it's threaded very well. It does fit securely on my one and a quarter inch. And it's, it fits flat up against the edge so it makes a nice secure fit. Now the way this collet the way this collet works is it actually snaps into place. Then you can actually use it by putting in putting in that dowel and then then securing it. The threading here uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's certainly adequate. Uh, this is made in China. Uh, I understand that the Beal system, I believe, is made in the U.S. Might be a little bit finer machining, but I believe this one's going to uh, do very well for me. It does have wrenches, one, uh, one negative. It's only got one wrench hole in the uh, chuck and the collet holder uh, to tighten with. It'd be convenient if it had at least, uh, at least two. One hole. It doesn't have a, somebody commented it didn't have a set screw to clamp it down. Uh, that's true, it doesn't. I don't find that to be a negative. The chances of me wanting to do this uh, backwards or in reverse are pretty remote, and, and this, this baby's not coming off in normal, normal operation. A um, couple of other pluses. Uh, it has a very nice, very nice uh, storage box. Uh, the price is, is really quite good. It's, uh, this was $90 uh, for this whole kit. Uh, that compares to uh, $180 for the Beal that has the same five uh, collets. And although the Beal might be machined better, I, frankly I, I haven't used the Beal so I have no frame of reference, but I've heard it, it's very well machined. But for me, I think this will do, do very, very well. So I hope this has been, I hope this has been useful to you. Uh, if you liked it, you know, indicate you liked it, uh, check on the like box, and, and, if, and if you want to be notified of when I'm going to have another video, uh, if you subscribe, that you'll be notified when I come up with another video. And I plan on making more. I'm, I'm getting very positive feedback, which is encouraging to me that I'm doing something that, that you viewers are finding useful.